everyone, welcome back to part 9 of Celeste. So we are going to be controlling Celeste this part, but before we jump into Celeste, I just wanted to show you guys that Prince Orion is officially now the Crown Prince of Planet Vesna, and I never knew that you could actually bump up the custom career levels until one of you guys told me that I can do that, so that is pretty freaking awesome, so thank you so much to the person who told me that you could. I never knew that you could do it, so thank you very, very, very much. It is now very fitting for the storyline to have Prince Orion as the actual prince. It's awesome. So, as the crown heir of the country, aka planet, you are now granted the perks you never imagined you could ever have. People will bow down to you. Oh wow, very, very, very awesome. <laughs> People want to please you. They'll buy you expensive gifts. You are the government. Everyone loves you. They adore you. Um, and people know that you want to make their country, aka their planet, a better place to live in. So, yeah, Prince Orion, he can now officially be the prince that he has been destined to be all of his life. Now we are going to jump back into Celeste and play with her this part. So we are back with Miss Beautiful Beautiful Celeste, who is all dressed up tonight. She is on the phone. She is asking out her friends Isabel and Z to the club. Everyone will meet us there. That is perfect. So I thought Celeste really does deserve a night out with her friends to let go of some of her worries and stress. She has a lot to be stressed about these days, especially in regards to her mother, which is always her ongoing main stress. She is always worried about that. So we're going over to the glass cube, which is called the glass cube because it is a glass cube. <laughs> so I did download this little lot from The Sims 3 resource. It is very futuristic, definitely suitable for this planet. It looks very, very tawny too on the outside, but believe me, the real party starts in the inside, yes. <laughs> So I am definitely, definitely looking forward to tonight. It is a beautiful night to do some stuff out on the town. But Celeste, she is feeling a little bit resistant to want to go out and have fun. She had to get Isabel, who is coming right here. She had to get Isabel to kind of convince her to even join them tonight. Because Celeste, it is very, very, very hard for her to want to have fun, to want to enjoy her own life when she has her dying mother on her mind 24 seven. Where am I going here? <laughs> okay, I wanted to change Isabel's outfit because she is dressed in her science lab coat. And yeah, she needs to wear a cute dress because who parties in their lab coat, really? <laughs> okay, so let's throw her into her formal wear. Yeah, she looks very, very, very darling. Very darling. Pretty and pink, I love it. So this is pretty much the lobby area, but trust me, the real party is in the basement. And I think you guys will like this lot. It is super duper fun. Isabel and Celeste, they are still standing outside of the club. They are talking in private for a moment because Celeste, she is expressing her concerns to Isabel. She is telling Isabel that she is not really in the drinking or dancing kind of mood, that she would much rather be home tonight. But hopefully, oh yeah, she is going to go dance. It seems like Isabel was able to convince Celeste into having a little bit of fun tonight, which is pretty awesome. And even if we only stay out for like an hour or so, at least this way we are getting out of the house, we are with our friends. So I think tonight we'll do Celeste a world of good. Oh my gosh, you guys, Carlton, Orion's friend, he is here, as well as Orion, he is here too. Perhaps Orion and Carlton, they were having a fun night out together because they are friends and yeah, so maybe they were kind of bonding tonight, having a few drinks after Orion was done with his busy day of being a prince. <laughs> So Celeste, she is looking over into Orion's direction. Orion has not realized that she is here just yet, but we certainly noticed him as soon as we walked in through the door. We're taking his picture. Very subtle, Celeste. Very subtle, girl. So we are going to casually walk up to him, and we are going to casually say, Orion, you're here. Why are you here? You have fun too? You'd like to go to bars too? What is this madness? 
So yeah, Celeste is very, very, very surprised to see Orion here. And I think Orion is quite surprised to see Celeste here as well, especially looking so freaking beautiful like this. Aw, he is complimenting us. He is probably telling us, Wow, you really clean up very well, Celeste. You look absolutely amazing. I mean, she is so beautiful, and he is really not used to seeing her like this at all. Of course, Orion thinks Celeste looks beautiful no matter what. She looks beautiful with or without makeup, with or without clothes, I guess, right? <laughs> okay, so Isabel, she's dancing right behind us. It's kind of like she's trying to keep an eye on Celeste. As well as Z, they're dancing pretty close to us, so maybe they're quite shocked themselves to see us talking to Orion so, so nicely, especially after Celeste had told both of her friends that she hated Orion. So to see them talking like this, and Celeste, she is smiling, she is getting along so well with Orion. Yeah, I think they're quite confused about that. <laughs> But yeah, I, th I think Orion, I think he is pretty tongue-tied just looking at Celeste. As you can see, he has her on his mind still. He is still drooling over her. Yeah, she definitely left quite the impression on him. He really is not used to seeing her dressing this feminine. I mean, she is a military chick after all. She likes to dress with her hair up and very black, you know, boyish kind of clothes and all of that. So... So yeah, she is in a dress. She is looking beautiful. Yeah, he, he can't take his eyes off her at all. He's complimenting her again. He's like, wow, I just can't get over how amazing you look. Oh my god, is he wanting... He wants to dance? He wants to dance? Oh my god, that's so cute. So maybe when they were talking, he was like... He was like, do you want to dance? And... Aw, is she not in the dancing mood? Yeah, she really was not in the dancing mood, but it looks like he's going to get himself a drink. Yeah, that is so cute that he asked us to dance. I love it. <laughs> so we're going to go over to Isabel. I am sure Isabel is dying to know what we were talking about with Orion. I mean, Isabel is quite confused and very, very, very giddy right now to know that Celeste and Orion were hitting it off, it seems. So he's getting himself a drink. Maybe he asked if we wanted a drink as well. So maybe we'll join him for a drink in a moment. Um, but yeah, so we are talking with Isabel. I am sure Isabel is going to be teasing us as well. Oh yeah, they have him on the mind. They are definitely talking about him. She's like, I think Orion really likes you, Celeste. He was totally, totally checking you out. Definitely go over there and join him for a drink. He was so into you. Join him. And of course, Celeste, she was trying to deny it all to Isabel. She was just telling Isabel that Orion does not like like her. They were just getting along a little bit better these days. They seem to have some sort of common ground. So that is why they're getting along a little bit better. <laughs> okay, looks like he's going to go home. So I guess we're just going to talk with him. Hopefully he'll stay for a little bit longer. We're not done with you yet, Orion. Not by a long shot, buddy. <laughs> so I do want to consider his attractiveness anyways, because we all know that Celeste is very attracted to Orion, just as he is attracted to her, but at least this way we can confirm what they are feeling for each other, what they are secretly feeling for each other. Okay, okay. He is quite attracted to Celeste. Of course he is. And she finds him blindingly stunning. 10 out of 10 would do again. <laughs> okay, so yeah, she definitely has the attractive company moodlet. He is complimenting her once again. So these guys are definitely attracted to each other. The attraction moodlet did not show up earlier, like before in the earlier parts solely because these two were enemies and it's very hard to be attracted to your enemy, right? <laughs> the game does not recognize that you can be attracted to your enemy. So now they are finally attracted to each other as they are no longer hating each other. Not that Orion ever hated Celeste, but Celeste definitely had hated Orion, but nowadays, yeah, not so much. <laughs> So it does not seem like Orion really wants to be at the club either, so maybe Carlton was the one who kind of persuaded Orion to have a fun night out as well, just as Isabel and Z had convinced Celeste to come out tonight. 
Yeah, I guess we're just going to go upstairs and show him a video. That could be kind of nice. He still has us on the mind. <laughs> he really can't get us out of his head. Neither can Celeste. <laughs> okay, so let's show him a video, I guess, of a cat. <laughs> oh my god, I do love that they are finally truly attracted to each other. I know a few of you guys were wondering about that, but yes, they always were attracted to each other, but now it is confirmed that they are quite lustful. <laughs> so she made him smile, she made him laugh a little bit. Aw, that's so cute. So maybe they are saying goodnight to each other right now, because I think Celeste does want to head home rather soon. She really has not had that much fun tonight. Oh my god, you guys! Aww. He's asking her to go watch the stars, so obviously he could tell that she was not really in the dancing or drinking kind of mood. She did not even have a drink, nor did she dance at all tonight, really, so... So yeah, he's like, hey, do you want to go outside for a minute where there's no one around? That way we can have some peace and quiet and I can show you a few of the constellations in the sky because I am sure Orion knows a lot about space. <laughs> you close but you know my mind is torn up I never thought it'd be like this we're like a broken record cause we always mess it up even though we say we never do that so here we go acting like we do we say things that are not true but somehow I'm still here Ryan and Celeste, they spent the remainder of the night watching stars together. It is already 3 a.m., which is pretty crazy. So I think these two said goodnight when they stopped watching stars. He told her to have a good night and to make sure she got home safely and all of that. Making Celeste blush like crazy, of course. She definitely got really lost into the moment with him tonight. They were only watching stars, nothing too scandalous, but still, she definitely felt her heart beating out of her chest. Where is Isabel? She definitely got into the car, but is she hiding in the very back tiny little seat? <laughs> I don't see Z, so maybe Z had to go home. I'm not sure, but at least we're here with Isabel because I think we are required to have some girl, girl, some girl talk, I guess, you know? I was going to say girl on girl action, but <laughs> that was not quite what I was going to go for. So I don't want Celeste to stay out too much longer tonight. She does have to work in the morning, I'm pretty darn sure, so I don't want to stay out too much later. But I just wanted to stay out long enough, that way the girls can kind of talk, can kind of gossip a little bit about Prince Orion, because I am sure... I am sure Isabel has many, many questions now, especially when Celeste had disappeared with Orion up the stairs of the club. They went outside together. They were gone for like an hour. So yeah, I, I, think, I think Isabel has a few questions of her own. Celeste has never looked happier, to be honest. <laughs> I think Orion definitely made Celeste grin from ear to ear. And I am sure Celeste is probably going to keep quiet about her feelings about, um, well, with Orion to, to Isabel. She's not going to tell Isabel that she likes him or that she is falling for him, of course. But I think Isabel can pretty much tell. For some reason, our brain power, yeah, it's not moving. Neither are, are our needs, I guess, apparently. That is so weird. Isabel, can't you join us? please. <laughs> we wanted to have a little bit of girl talk. Yeah. That or some girl on girl auction, I guess, right? <laughs> but no, yeah, they're having a nice little talk in the hot tub. She's like, so where were you and Prince Orion, huh? Celeste is like, oh, nowhere. We were just having a nice talk elsewhere. She is so, so dreamy right now. <laughs> I think Celeste is definitely having the goo the goo goo eyes, the googly eyes or whatever. <laughs> Like, she is so much in La La Land right now. So I think we are going to head home. I just want to give Isabel a hug and thank her for taking us out tonight because Isabel really is such a good friend to Celeste. She is always there to make sure that no harm comes to Celeste. Isabel really wants Celeste to enjoy her life and everything like that. So yeah, Isabel is one of the few people who is really there for Celeste. 
So yeah, we're going to head home, but I am really confused about our brain power. I don't think either of our needs really moved, to be honest. Um, when I was doing the machinima for the beginning of this part, perhaps that did something to her needs. <laughs> perhaps that made them static. I'm not sure, but hopefully that will be fixed for the next part. So we are going to go home this beautiful early morning. I love that little green car. Super freaking cute. I guess we're not the only ones with a cute little car. <laughs> so yeah, it is a beautiful, beautiful morning. Oh, right. We're going to work, not home. <laughs> so I'll talk to you guys once we're out of work. Celeste is home from work. I think she still feels a little bit conflicted and confused about her feelings for Orion. She has never felt these kind of feelings before ever for someone. So yeah, she does not really know what to really make of it. So she does want to detonate something, but I think we're just going to repair it instead. That way we can work on our handiness for work. Plus, this is our mother's TV. Our mother watches a lot of TV, so I feel like that would be kind of dickish of us to to blow up her TV. <laughs> that would not be nice, really. Um, she wants to do it though, but honestly, hmm, I do want to blow up something, but seriously, I feel like we would be so mean to blow up our mother's TV, really. <laughs> but I really do want to blow up something. Can we blow up something, please? I'm really in a blowing up kind of mood. Um, oh, the stove. Hmm, perfect, perfect, yes. <laughs> yeah, we can definitely blow up that uh, pile of junk. And actually, this kind of works out really nicely because we can upgrade the stove for our mother. Why aren't you connecting, little little counter? Why not? Why don't you connect? Why don't you work? <laughs> Dude, please connect. You look so weird if you're not going to connect. That is so strange. Maybe it's these cabinets? I'm not sure. Oh? Oh? No? Oh, yes. Yes. Perfect. Even more perfect. <laughs> so yeah, we did upgrade our mother's kitchen. We got her a new stove from the money that we earned from work. But now we are going to go blow up that, that stove, that old stove. But before we do that, I did want to try out this object that Celeste had invented. Yeah, I'm not really sure what it does. I don't think I ever used it before, to be honest. I can't remember if I did. But yeah, I'm not really sure what the point of this object is. Oh, we actually sit... Oh my god, that is so cute. Oh wow. Very, very, very noisy. Oh my lord. <laughs> that is so cute, though. Ah, she's having fun, isn't she? Um, I'm not really sure what this object really does, though, for you. Like, what is its point? <laughs> Just so we can dig up a hole in our backyard? Not very practical. Wait, is our mom? Yeah, our mom. She can hear the machine from inside the house? Really? <laughs> I guess that really is a truly a loud machine. Jeez. Yeah, so I think we're kind of disturbing our mother. We're making so much noise in the backyard backyard <laughs> in the backyard I can't talk apparently um so yeah we're going to stop that now we can blow up that stove yes the fun begins yes 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 I never blew up anything before in the sims so I'm actually really excited about this <laughs> I don't think I ever got any of my sims to such a high level in the inventing skill either so so Celeste you are a first for many things things my dear for many things <laughs> Is it going to blow up? Please? Oh my god. Sweet. That is awesome. Explosions. Who does not love a good a good explosion? Oh, we can collect the scrap as well. That is even more awesome. Yeah. I love that. Now, I think we're going to go over to the time machine, and I think we're going to go into the future. Now, Celeste, she can't really, she can't really do anything about her mother's sickness as of now. But we're going to imagine that this is just a way for her to learn more about the future itself and to hopefully get more research on what to expect if she ever does go to planet Earth, if she ever does travel through space one day on a possible space mission. But we're not going to actually go to Earth or anything like that, of course. Oh, the Illuminati of the 34th century discovered Celeste's time traveling power. Oh, they almost kidnapped her as well. That is so not good. Yeah, Celeste needs to be a little bit more careful because Celeste, she is more powerful than the typical alien. 
she has some really unique powers that are not common, so yeah, she needs to be a little bit more careful. Okay, so we're just going to imagine that she researched and realized that Earth does have its own spaceport. So we did not actually visit Earth or anything like that. We're not traveling through space or anything that crazy, but we are just learning more about Earth and everything like that. Okay, so... Okay, she almost got ejected. Oh my god, girl. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, so... Yeah, again, she's just learning more about space and what she has to look forward to and what she can possibly encounter because, yeah, she is raising very high in the, in the, in the military career. Oh, wow. She got a lot of money, didn't she? She looks... Okay, there we go. <laughs> what is she wearing? What is she wearing? Oh, that, that cleavage, though. That cleavage. I love it. She actually looks really, really sexy, actually. I think she does. Traveled in time... Yeah, I think she learned a few new things about space traveling and all of that. I can't get over her outfit though. That is so freaking intense. I love this little thing on the back of her, well, well, her back. <laughs> her little book bag thing, space thing, whatever it is. <laughs> it's so cute. But yeah, she got some flame fruit, some new threads and money. That is pretty cool. She actually got some really nifty stuff this time around. Okay, can her mother plant this? No, we can't. Oh my god, girl, girl, you got out of space, you got out of the time machine and this happens to you? So not cool. Yeah, I, th I think it's time to have a nice little bath. <laughs> After all of that exploring in the time machine, I think she needs to have a bath before she dies by trying to invent something else. Oh, she wants to master her inventing skill. Well, hopefully, Hopefully in the near future we can do that. I don't think we're going to worry about the science research station because, yeah, Celeste knows that, like, she knows what she needs in order to save her mother, but the materials that she needs is only found on planet Earth, so she can't really do anything really about it if she's on this planet. Um, so yeah, her next step is to really get to planet Earth. She can't really do anything more in the meantime, other than researching and stuff like that. So since it is still pretty early in the night, I do want to invite uh, both Z and Isabel again to the Glass Cube Dance Club because we did not really spend that much time together. So hopefully we can spend a little bit more time together tonight. I think it would be fun. Maybe we'll run into Prince Orion again tonight. <laughs> But yeah, I think we should show them our new space outfit. I can definitely imagine her wearing an outfit like that when she actually is exploring space. If she ever does one day. Oh, this looks like the spot to be apparently. Yeah, quite a few people are around. That, that is pretty nice. So Isabel and Celeste, they are talking once again. Isabel is probably asking Celeste, like, what are you wearing, girl? Why do you have straws and tubes and stuff? taped to your outfit <laughs> because it, it really is such a weird outfit it probably surprised Isabel but then again a lot of people on this planet they have really weird fashion choices so she probably does fit in after all <laughs> so yeah everyone is having fun tonight Z is dancing his little butt off yeah at least this way we get to have a bite to eat Celeste is still not really in the drinking kind of mood, but at least this way she gets some onion rings. She gets to choke on her onion rings, apparently. <laughs> I think she looks so hot. I love girls who are in a suit. That is so freaking sexy, in my personal opinion. I think they look so freaking hot, especially with that V-neck cleavage in her, on her outfit there. Yeah, she just looks so freaking hot. Okay, so I kind of do want to hook up maybe Z with another guy. He's been dancing kind of with this guy here, so maybe we'll do that with him. But first we are going to try to play it a little bit slow. We're just going to ask him to talk a little bit more with that guy. Uh, don't be shy, Z. We know that you're such a party animal that this is a piece of cake for you. <laughs> but yeah, they seem to be dancing together. They seem to be getting along, so maybe we can play matchmaker for a moment. <laughs> They are getting along still, so that's pretty nice. We're dancing with Isabel in the meantime. Yeah, he's not really the cutest guy ever, Stefan. He's really not that cute. 
but looks is not all that matters. Apparently he's asking Z what he does for work. I believe Z is in the science here as well, so that's pretty nice. Oh, we're... Oh, are they playing tag? Really? <laughs> I guess they both are a child at heart. <laughs> okay, so now we are going to try to convince Z to actually kiss that guy because they are getting along. They seem to be getting along pretty nicely. And we're going to use the washroom and maybe we can play pool with Isabel. Can we join her? Oh, she must be doing a trick shot. I guess we'll watch her instead. But I'm really, really, really curious to see how this will go with Z. If they can actually hook up tonight or something, that would be very, very, very amazing. I definitely want Z to find love as well. You have to be kidding me, Z. Seriously? Can't, can't you figure this out, Z? <laughs> oh my god, I guess we have to try this again. Thank you, Z. Thank you for making us do this again. We're just going to teleport Celeste up here because honestly... I don't want her to walk all the way upstairs to come over here. The bar is soon going to close. Plus, it actually kind of makes sense that Celeste would teleport because Celeste, she is definitely one of the more powerful aliens on this planet. She has very unique powers. So perhaps the fact that she can teleport, perhaps that is one of her powers. Teleportation. Yeah, I like it. And perhaps that is why she tries to not teleport because she does try to blend in with all of the other aliens, as everyone thinks of her as a freak. So she does try her best to blend in and not use all of these powers that she does have. Oh no, it really does not look... Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. I'm so hurt that I can't even talk. <laughs> it really did not look like that guy was really into it. Perhaps he is straight. Perhaps he is. That would be so sad. No, this is so depressing. Yeah, I think our plan backfired for poor Z. I am so sad. Yeah, Stefan thinks we're pretty hot, so yeah, I don't think we can convince him to flirt with Z, unfortunately. I think Stefan is into girls. So that is so, so depressing. <laughs> I feel so bad for Z, but I am sure he'll find love sooner or later. So we're ending this group outing now. Everyone had an amazing time, so that's awesome. Isabel had a great time too. That is awesome. I love it. So I will be ending this part here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys so, so, so much. And I'll be talking to you guys in the next part. Bye.